And now, he knows. Hello everyone and welcome to week 11, level 43 of the local four pack challenge. Uh, the settlers, uh, tired of Charles being in his bunk, pestered him relentlessly for three days. Go to good neighbor, go to good neighbor, go to good neighbor. Every single one of them kept starting, go to good neighbor. They came in twos and threes. They got him at dinner, they got him at lunch, they got him everywhere, on the toilet, go to good neighbor. He's like, fine, fine, I'll go to good neighbor. Get off my bag. So he left and he went to good neighbor. As he got close to good neighbor, he had this, he had a very strong desire to not go into good neighbor. Instead, he was drawn to the Southeast. So he went Southeast. He, it was like a lodestone. He just went straight Southeast down the street, down the block. About a couple blocks away, he started to hear a noise. So he followed the noise. It got louder and louder and louder. And he found something he did not expect to find. And he got information. He got what he needed to know. He came back, he went to the guard, the head guard and said, okay, I need you to get me some people. The guard's like, okay. He's all, I need 10 people who are not going to ask any questions, who are sturdy and strong and are willing to work and who want to make 500 caps each for a week's worth of work. The guard looked at Charles, looked at the look on his face and said, I'll see what I can do, boss. So Charles went back to his house and all night long, he worked. He kept coming out to look at things, measure things, did a lot of writing, did a lot of jotting down notes, didn't sleep. Morning comes, he gathers all the settlers together. The guard managed to find eight, which is not bad, not, not bad, instead of 10. He said, okay, guys, playtime is over. We need to build. We need to build a lot and we need to build now. Here are your instructions. He handed them all papers, documents, plans, sketches. He's all, if you have any questions, ask, ask, the, uh, ask the contractor. If you have any problems, I don't want to hear it. He's all, I have supported you. We have got you safe. We've got you fed. It is time to pay that back. Get to work. So with judicious and plentiful use of Jet and Nuka-Cola, the bartender worked overtime, did nothing but cook. They built in a really big hurry. They added this whole, his whole, this whole wing onto his, onto his house. Um, the original house is up behind there. We'll go up there in a second. They put this up and this, this is his original house, by the way. This is the one he was using as a room for a long time. Now it's a nice little kitchen with modern appliances and all nice fixtures, brand new furniture, looking good, living the life. Got a little deck here where he can work on his power armor. But they put up, uh, they, what did they do? They finished. He had him finish the farmer's house, furnished it, dressed it up. He uh, got him to tear down that monstrosity that the scaver had built to put something up a little more fitting and something that matched. We've got a whole new power armor uh, bay over here that they can work on the power armor. Uh, they built a raggedy ass shack for the doctor because she just needed a bedroom. He's like, I just need a bedroom for her. I don't care what it looks like. Uh, we'll build this. They built it in like four hours. This little thing up here on the top of the snack bar. So this is where the doctor lives. Good enough. Keep going. They uh, gave the, built another guard station for the head guard. He's got a, uh, a much nicer, much fuller um, place to watch, which is right over here. And then they built, um, the scabbers got separate rooms and a full workshop. So this should be the bulk of it. He's not quite satisfied with this. There's still something missing. Uh, he's going to have to check his notes and see what it is, but yes. he's convinced that he's very close to finishing what he needs to get done. Uh, the settlers have been steering clear of him because he has driven and he just, every time they come over to ask him something, he just stares at him. He's like, why are you not working? Do not talk to me. Get this done. So uh, they have been very productive. <laughs> Honestly, oddly enough, they really did... Uh, Burn the midnight oil. They most of them were working until two, three in the morning, uh, and a lot of times they just slept on the ground. They were just so tired they couldn't even move. But having the extra hands helped a great deal as well. They were able to put up much more, push much more lumber than they would have otherwise. And uh, but this is this is looking. He's like this is looking close. We're getting close. It's not quite right. There's still some stuff that we need to get done. But this is the majority of it, and I'm feeling pretty good about my progress. So. Uh, but yeah, they wanted a workshop and uh, this is what they came up with. 
use the whole concrete, uh, the whole uh, patio area outside the snack bar as a foundation because it was faster. You know, just drive the just drive the pilings right into the concrete just to get it done, and uh, repurpose what they could, move the turrets around. You know, uh, stole another power armor rack, put that in here. Lots of boxes and crates because you know the, the the provisioners kept coming, the caravan guys kept coming, so they needed somewhere to put all that crap. But we're getting close. He's like, I'm very, very pleased with your progress. Thank you very much. Uh, the eight guys have left. And uh, he said, if you tell anybody where you got this money, uh, I will find you. <laughs> and you will not be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Keep this to yourself. Okay. And of course, they looked at him and they did what the guard did. Okay, boss, no problem. So uh, we are getting near the end here. This is next week will be the final tour and the culmination of his story. I'm wondering if you've guessed what his story is yet. Anyway, here's the uh, almost completed settlement. It's looking much more filled in. Of course, it only occupies like the first two thirds of it. But this is what Charles wants to get done. This is what he is happy with. And this is what we are happy with. So we're going to pan back around to the background of the screen here. And I want to say thank you all very much for watching, liking and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.